1928 was a good building year. Almost $3 billion worth of new residential construction saw the light of day. But in 1929, even before the Depression became general, building dropped off to slightly under $2 billion. Year after year, throughout the Depression, this decline continued. Each succeeding drop meaning thousands more men laid off in the building and allied industries. Until in 1934, all of the new homes built in the United States were worth only $227 million. A decline of 92% from 1928. But due to the stimulation of the National Housing Act, 1935 presents a different picture. From every section of the country come reports of vastly increased building activity. Now in these pictures we show you a few of the thousands of houses of all types that are currently under construction as a result of this building boom. We show you a few of the hundred of thousands of men whom it has put back to work, some of them after years of idleness. Carpenters, bricklayers, masons, plumbers, men from every division of the building trades are getting an honest day's work. And this reemployment is not limited to the building trades. For every man put to work on a house, several more are engaged in making the needed materials and transporting them to where they are to be used. This coughing end that comes out of a pay envelope tastes a lot sweeter than the same food when it's bought with a relief check. This tidal wave of new construction is an important contribution to the economic rebuilding of America. Home ownership is the basis of a happy, contented family life.